Sup my dogs, another episode of Bomb Ass Foods and today we're making some oxtail soup. Yeah you Yeah you the same ingredients you need right here. Um bok choy, kai choy, um choy sum, and then for a garnish we got some um Chinese cilantro, ginger, onions, some shiitake mushrooms, this is star of onganese, some Hawaiian salt, some pepper, and then there's your oxtail. And you got your beef stock. Yeah, you. Boom, cooking utensils. Spoon, ladle, fork, and pot. Put some oil inside. We're gonna get started right now. Yup guys, so the prep process is all done, but ready to cook. We got our ginger peeled, we got all of our greens cut up and washed. Um, you cut off the bottom stem, maybe one inch, um, it's a little dirty and tougher to eat. Throw that away, and then you cut them up into one inch pieces. That's the hard part of the um, the greens, and those are the leaves. I usually keep them, keep them separate because they, they cook at different um, times. Uh. Um, then you got your onion. It's real coarsely chopped up. Shiitake mushrooms, same thing. Then we got your Chinese um, parsley, that's for garnish. And then you got your ginger for um, garnish also, but I usually throw it right inside of the, um, the soup. And then we got our oxtails um, all salted and peppered each side. And ready for cook now, got some olive oil in there. Next step, we're gonna sear these guys. Give them nice crust and flavor all over there. And on to the next step. Cheers. So yeah, we get them at a medium high heat. Some olive oil inside there. We're ready for our sear these bad boys. Yeah, you like hear that fucking sizzle, my dog. Uh-huh. Ooh, some fatty pieces too. Uh huh. Yeah, you. Raja, so we did small kind of searage on on one side. Now we're searing the other side. Uh huh. So now our oxtail is pretty much all seared up on all sides. Now we're gonna add our stock. Some deep broth. It's enough to cover the top of this, guys. Mm. So we added our in our beef broth. We're gonna tone up the heat to a high, bring this to a boil. At this point, you can pretty much throw in all the seasoning um, good. So we're throwing the star of anganese. Chuck sure, inside. Mm. Throwing our onions also. And then we're throwing our ginger. Yeah. Bring it to a boil. So we got this guy boiling. I'm gonna put the cap on and reduce it to low heat. Low heat. Put the timer on for four plus hours. You should check it every hour just to stir it. See if the meat is soft. So we'll see you then. So there's an hour left to cook. Maybe a little more. I'm gonna add in the mushrooms right now. I didn't want to add the mushrooms in earlier because I didn't want him to um, overcook and disappear. So I'm gonna throw these guys in now. Shiitake mushrooms. Cap it back up, cook it for the rest. Uh huh, four hours later. What we got going on? Huh? Ooh, my dog. Look at that. Yeah, you. Could look major. 
Yep, so before we put in the stems, the hard part of the vegetables, we're going to check the meat. I just want it to be fall off the bone and look at this. Oh, it didn't come right off. So we're going to put in the harder part of the vegetables. Mix that in. Shang-yang. Yeah, you. Put the cap back on. I'm gonna let that steam and cook for another 10 15 minutes before we add in the leaf greens. Then that cooks another 10 15 minutes and should be done, son. Okay, about 10 minutes. The, the harder parts are getting kind of soft, so I'm gonna add the greens in. Sop right inside my dog. Yeah, you. Mix them up. Get it in there. Mix it up. Yeah. And we'll cap them, cook them down again for another 10 minutes. Shoot! So, yup. It's pretty much done. The vegetables are all soft, the meat's all soft. That's your finished product right there. It's a fucking fatty oxtail. Look at that shit. Uh. Ready to eat right now.